Mom. Hi. I thought you were going to wait around. I got awkward with Vicky, so I thought maybe I'd better leave. What did she say to you? It was all right. She just wanted my help to get closer with you. I'm sorry. Don't be. It's all right. I told her it was between the two of you. Well, that's the part she doesn't like. Yeah. Yeah, you sure you're all right? If Vicky upset you, then... No, I... darling. I just thought I saw somebody. I, I knew, that's all. Oh, well, who? I was mistaken. It doesn't matter. What do you say you and I go out to lunch right now? We haven't done that for ages. What do you say? You're going to go be with Stephen. I have my whole life to be with Stephen. I have right now to celebrate with you. I don't have the time, darling. I have tons of work to do. You enjoy your son. You know what's hardest? You know what's really hardest? No, what? Is not being able to share it. There's good news with Mac. Yes, I know. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming, Mom. Hey, listen. I want a rain check on that lunch. Deal. And you'll call me later, right? Did you see your mom? Yeah, yeah. Out in the hallway. Did you talk to her? Uh, yeah, just a little bit. She said she had to go. Is she all right? Yeah, she said she was fine. How about us, Jamie? Are we fine? Let's go home. I want to see my son. Derek, I have never seen you like this. Yeah, I've never been like this before. Look here. Let me help you with that. Please. <sighs> Silk, huh? Mm. Italian designer? Yeah. Uh-huh. Good taste. Expensive taste. I got it at a thrift store. Well, you got a good buy then. Yeah. The only person I ever knew who could do this from the front was an undertaker. Will you hurry up, please? Would you shut up and sit down? Gosh, don't tell me you're nervous, too. Two? Yeah, well, Stacy's a wreck. What do you mean, a wreck? Wreck. A good wreck, a good wreck. At least she was when I left her. You saw her today? Yeah. <laughs> she is in such a tizzy. You would think she would go into the inaugural ball or something. I knew it. She's going to expect too much from this. Oh, she is. Whatever she's expecting, we will live up to it, okay? Mm hmm Yeah. Let me see. Get these things. Uh, uh, uh. Let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. Perfect. Yeah. Have you seen yourself? Uh-uh. <laughs> Look in the mirror. I don't have a mirror. Yeah, right. I never noticed that before. Look. Feast your eyes. Okay. So what do you think of the fabulous new you? Huh? Well, I didn't like that shirt either. But I don't know what color. she expects, but I'm not a doctor, I'm not a lawyer, and I'm not some stiff in a suit. I'm me. And she's gonna have to just take it or leave it. I think she's going to take it and love it. Oh, hello. Hi, you Stacy Winthrop? Yes. These are for you. Wow, these are beautiful. <laughs> You're not so bad yourself. Oh, yeah, uh, Derek told, uh, sent them. He told me to tell you. Oh, he did? Mm-hmm. And since I told you, I'm going. Oh, but, uh, could you tell him Kyle brought them? <laughs> okay. I will not forget, Kyle. Oh, well, hang on a second. Hey. 
Thank you very much. Hey. Thank you. <laughs> you gonna put those in water, or are you just gonna hold them? Courtney, this is the kind of guy that Derek is. He just sent these over. Must have cost a fortune. Let me get you a vase. He is considerate, and he is thoughtful, and he does not steal. Stacy, I have to take this seriously. Surely you can't think that he stole the painting from Iris Wheeler's apartment. I don't think anything. I just said his name came up. Wait a second. I can account for his time. He was with me when the painting was stolen. OK. OK, that's all you're going to say? That's not all I found out. OK, so what are you driving at? Well, for starters, um, he's living illegally in a warehouse. It's an abandoned building. Who cares? There's more. I don't want to hear about it. You have to. No, I have to get ready for my date Stacey, right now. You have to listen Courtney. to me. Courtney, you are a very nice person. But it sounds to me like you're out to get Derek. And I don't like it. <sighs> no, I'm sorry. She's not available. Yes, and I look forward to seeing you at the meeting. Yes, goodbye. You seen Mom? What, she's not back yet? Oh, no, I guess not. Where's your guest? Well, let's just say that I straightened things out with Rita. Did you? Yeah. Good. Look, I have some time now. If you want to go over some of these profiles with me, I would really appreciate it. Well, I have a meeting. Here? No. Oh, look, I was thinking about what you said, and I would really like to get some of this accomplished tonight, you know? Well, you don't have to panic. I didn't mean to scare you. <sighs> no, no, you didn't. I just think it would be better. Look, why don't you give me a call, and we can talk about the profiles over the phone tonight? Not tonight. I don't want you to be thinking about what Sam said. I mean... Evan? I'm just busy. I've made plans. I'll see you. I wish you would say something. I don't have anything to say. Jake, I know you're disappointed. I'm disappointed. I promised myself I, I wasn't going to hope too much. But. Yeah. It just took over. Yeah. Well, then how can you act so calm? Because I'm fine. You can't be fine. Yes, I can. It was a blow, I admit that. I'm just so sure, you know? I mean, every time I held him, it just felt so right. You were there when he was born. It's a real bond. That's probably it. Why, why don't I uh, make us something to eat? Maybe. Jake. I was sure we'd be celebrating. On second thought, I don't feel much like eating. You know, I, I knew there was a chance that it could be Jamie's. I knew that. You had to find out for sure. And I did. Stephen is Jamie's. I think he was right. Damn it. I'm 
I'm sorry. It's all over. I'll be all right. Thank <laughs> you. 